Hi, my name is Gav Chapman and I work at Aimson in the UK. I'm going to give you a quick overview of our project called NEVMA. Aimson was the lead organisation with subcontractors and partners, EarthSense, Siemens and Oxford County Council. NEVMA, Network Emissions, Vehicle Flow, Management and Adjustment, was our deployment of Aimson Life Solution and an integration with EarthSense MapAir. We created a toolkit that predicts road traffic flows and emissions based on historic and real-time traffic with the added inclusion of air quality predictions validated with local on-ground based CEPHA sensors. Predictions of what will happen on the road network over the next hour are compared with different traffic management strategies in order that traffic managers can see which strategy is best deployed at any time and situation to mitigate against air quality issues. Siemens worked on a sub-project investigating how AI can assist in predicting when adaptive traffic control technologies like Mover adjust and how they could change to benefit localised air quality conditions. The project was complex with many competing objectives and desires and on many levels. Strategic roads versus local roads, annual exceedance versus 15 minute exceedance and of course Covid traffic flows versus normal traffic flows. Our solution was formed of three elements. A real-time traffic model was built to the county, which largely focused on Oxford City itself, the Ring Road and the strategic or SRN roads throughout the county. Combining historic and real-time data, we generated traffic profiles that allowed us to predict and forecast what would happen over the next hour. And with the integration of the map air, we included the air quality predictions based on weather, topographical data and sensors. And lastly, through the creation and definition of key KPIs, we compared what different traffic management actions could be deployed and how they would improve and benefit not only the traffic flow, but the related emissions and air quality, reporting details at agreed areas across the area of interest. A comprehensive and complex deployment, but largely reusing existing assets, meant the project demonstrated the benefits of digitisation and repurpose, and how assets can be used for a lot more than just their primary purpose. Of course, no project over the last 18 months can ignore COVID, and the system gave us great insight into the variation of traffic flow. This slide shows how not one day is the same and illustrates how data from the same detector over a number of days can be quite different on any given day considering fluctuations and shifts in traffic flows. We evaluated three use cases but today I'm going to highlight just two. The first was the implication of a road closure which we illustrate with the forthcoming Kennington Bridge construction works. On the left we can see the traffic density and the do-nothing situation. On the right we can see a contraflow mitigation strategy. See how the density increases and floods the local roads overspilling onto the strategic road network which would have an effect on the important north-south traffic flows of the A34. It demonstrates that a tool like this can support the collaboration of traffic management between road operators to mitigate when incidents and events happen, planned or unplanned. This last image of this case study shows how traffic related emissions disperse across a wider area, which allows us to consider the impact of traffic management intervention should it happen and how it will affect non-road users such as schools, homes and people. So whilst we've shown some of the visual analysis that the solution provides, it also provides analytical data. The second case study we highlight today focuses on the A34 at Botley Road Junction, a regular hotspot for emissions and the area that operates above the legal limits throughout the year. We analyse data and give some key findings and results. 76% of the time our predictions are within 15% of measured traffic flows, showing that our dynamic real-time traffic model was accurate enough for our needs. The air quality model and sensors showed that 57% of the days evaluated, air quality levels were exceeding the legal limits. And in the comparison of traffic management strategies, 65% of the time our response plans provided mitigation against the do-nothing scenario. And so we could improve air quality if the better performing response plan was initiated on street and the model benefits were on average an improvement by 5%. In summary, every day is different and the type of tools we have deployed and used cope very well with those fluctuations and needs. The system continues to learn and increase its accuracy of its predictions using our AI tech. And so the partners in the project decided to provide a legacy by keeping the system running post project conclusion in November 2020 and it's still running today. We would like to thank our delivery partners but also our sponsors Highways England for supporting this challenging and groundbreaking project, allowing Aimson and the team to deploy the first county-wide real-time prediction model in the UK. Thanks for listening and feel free to get in touch for more information how it might be useful to you.